Hey y'all and welcome to the Southland Piper. I'm your host Tim. Hope you're doing well today. I've got this uh, Digby Bulldog. It's made by GBD. Uh, it's in it's in nice shape uh, and I've already started on the on the pipe because it really didn't need a whole lot done to it but I did find an issue inside the bowl that we need to fix. So let's turn around to the workbench and get started. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can go in a little faster. Oh, there we go. Let me throw a little light on it. Right there. Um, now the rest of the bowl, back out a little bit. The rest of the bowl uh, looks fine. Uh, so we had some little charring right there, some little you know, little spider webbing such, but I went in with the uh, a dental pick and, and loosened up everything. Now, or got rid of all the loose stuff. Um, typically, you'd see me use some um, mortar, uh, pipe mortar, and just kind of fill in those areas. But I thought I wanted to try something a little different. Um, it's a different product, and it will be extremely hard, extremely durable, and should be a, a, a lasting repair. And that is using, let me back, back out a little bit, this uh, sodium silicate. Uh, some people refer it to as uh, water glass. And we're going to mix some of this up uh, with some activated charcoal, powdered activated charcoal for some color, and see if we can't uh, fix that area. And, and once it's fixed, supposedly it's, it's fixed. You don't have to ever worry about it again. So let me get a few things uh, straightened up and we'll get started. All right, let's give this a shot. Um, I've got on some uh, gloves. Uh, this stuff is corrosive. So that's always fun to work with, corrosive stuff. Um, I've got my activated charcoal right here. It's a food grade activated charcoal. This is just uh, another pile for me in case I need to add some in. I got my little um, popsicle stick for mixing. And what we're gonna do and once I get started on patching that spot or cover, you know, or repairing it, um, I'll have to keep going on it until um, you'll start getting crumbles rolled up in in the bowl. So it's a thing that you once you start, you got to keep going, and we'll just uh, see how it turns out. So let's pour a little of this on. I'm shaking it pretty well. Uh oh, the runoff on me a little bit. All right, I need to re-level my desk a little bit. Well, let me just leave that open. But we'll uh, let's start the process of mixing this in. And there's a consistency that we're looking for where it just starts to start to peel up. Um, but we've got quite a bit to mix. You're seeing this the first time along with me so hopefully we do this right tell you what this um carbon goes everywhere don't it all right we just gotta keep mixing got about a 30 minute dry time i think and i may have to do this a couple of times to uh figure it out i mean um, this is i haven't done any practice or anything like that so uh you're getting to ride along with me first time now i'm starting to like the consistency a little bit better we need to work some of these clumps out i think i still need a little bit more Oop, may have poured too much that's all right we'll fix it but i do like the consistency a little bit better now so let's just keep going I think I will drop in a little bit. I definitely have enough. This is supposed to be just a surefire way to fix these problems in, in pipes. So we're going to see if we can't learn something today. I like trying new things. I don't want to sit there and just do the same repair all the time, but. Uh, you know, sometimes that's what you kind of end up in the middle of doing, just 
the same old, same old, but I like to have where I'm kind of forcing myself a little bit to, to learn things and uh, keep growing in this uh, hobby for me anyway. Um, I really enjoy it and like to try to find new methods, uh, new ways of doing things, see if I can improve the way I'm doing this work. It's almost to the consistency I believe we need. Um, we're getting there. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden it really started to lift. Keep going. Not exactly where I want it yet. Almost. All right. All right. Let's go for it. I'll take some of this. I'm going to get it down. Oops, in that spot right there. And I'm going to press it in. And then I'm going to take my finger. And just start working around. Working around. This is going to take a few minutes. Pushing into the side wall. And uh, I just hope this spot may be a little large. This method is mainly designed if you've got, you know, like the little spider web looking heat cracks and such. So this might be a little large, but. We're going to see what happens here. You yeah, see, I'm starting to wad it up a little bit. Starting to roll. Roll up. You know, crumbs, almost like you um, with pencil erasers and such. See that right there? All right. Got to keep going. Okay, keep. we're getting there. But this should seal the whole bowl. <clears throat> and help protect it. Help protect it from heat. Uh, it's not going to totally stop heat. It's just like if you're sitting on the other side of the, the glass doors on a fireplace, so you'd still get a lot of heat. But there is protection there. Keep going. All right, I believe we're just about there. I think we've got all the excess gone. Now... Let me just take that. And hopefully we didn't get too much up on the, the rim. Clean up a little bit. All right. Should be able to lose the gloves. All right. Um, I finished running my finger in there. Uh, got it to crumble up really well. Pressed it in real well. So now I just need to let it uh, sit overnight. So that's what we'll do. Uh, let it sit overnight, and we'll take a uh, look at it tomorrow for better or for worse, and and see how it looks. Um, it should give the pipe a lot of good protection. Um, I definitely have to work on my technique a little bit. A uh, little little lumpy here and there. You just got to sit there and just really just keep it spinning, keep it spinning, keep it spinning. And so uh, for a first attempt. I think I, I did okay, and we'll see what the, fi the final project um, looks like tomorrow. Okay, it's been 24 hours or so uh, since I put the sodium silicate, uh, also known as water glass, into uh, this Digby, uh, where we had a little charred area. So let's take a look. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now, right there is where it was. Um, it, it's it's hard to tell about the inside. Um, I think I probably got it a little too thick, but man, that stuff is hard as a rock. Uh, right now, the of course the bowl is just clean as can be because uh, it's just about lined with. With glass, it's it's a hard, hard, hard substance, that's for sure. So, we'll just see what becomes of this uh, repair. I think it'll be totally fine, but next time I need to uh, start with it a little thinner and also just keep going and, and wiping off more, getting it to crumble up uh, more. So, 
a little thick this time. Uh, is it a bad thing? No, not necessarily. So I'm going to call the experiment with the sodium silicate a, um, a success. And um, I think I'll use it again in the future. So there's my little Digby. Nice looking little bulldog. Thanks for spending your time with me today and hope to talk to you soon. Bye.